Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jogwe, I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be inside of Character Creator 4 and what you see on the screen right now is a, a couple of renders that I did and this is uh, showcasing the new feature that they added inside of our Character, character Creator 4 and it has to do with uh, rendering a turnaround table, turnaround tables as we we'll call it. And so this the one, the first one I'm showing you is uh, of this soldier character, or well, looks like a soldier. And then the second one is uh, one of uh, the other female, I guess, warrior, a heroine of some kind. And they look really cool. <laughs> so this is a real time rendering that you're seeing right now. And so over here, inside of uh, Character Creator 4, the feature is down here by the timeline. And if you disable the animation player, you won't be able to see it, but if you click on animation layer up at the top, then the timeline will show up. And then down here over this icon right here is the turntable, and you can also access it up at the top. So when you click on that, then the turntable shows up, and you can do the turntable for the full project, the character and scene, or just the lighting. So you can have the lighting rotating around the character, which is pretty cool. And then you can do it clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's try, it. let's just play clockwise for example right now. So that's going around the character like that. So if I rewind, and then this here, degrees per second, is how many rotations that you're gonna get. So if we go like uh, 60, for example, let's see, and you can actually see the, the timeline or the range changing over here. So I play right. So that's the speed. Right, and if I rewind and then it's still like uh, 120, you can see that has changed. Playback, it's gonna go real quick, right? So it's very easy to work with, and you can also indicate how many cycles uh, you can do counterclockwise, so the other way, like that. So this is really handy. So if you have a custom part to be made, or if you use the, the generator here then you can create a, a, like a presentation of this character and the cool thing is now you can add animation to it so with, with the animation you simply just uh, go to the content manager wherever you have your animations and go to the animation tab over here find the motion that you're dealing with like over here you like perform and then just drag and drop your character and then play back now it if you want to mix animations, at least as of the recording of this video, uh, that's not enabled. So whatever animation you you add to the character, it's gonna kind of override, and then you have to start from the beginning. So this, but I hope they change that, <laughs> where you can mix and match the different animations and make it longer. But uh, that's I wanted to share with you this quick feature that they've added. It makes it very easy for you to create presentations of your custom characters. So that if you're an art director or if you're just a team lead and you want to show off what the character looks like with your team, then you can render it in. When you're ready, after you've uh, set up the different ranges over here, right, then you can go to render and render video. And in here, you can render a video. Uh, those default settings work, but I've been using the Ultra HD <laughs> so that I can get really good quality. And I'm also using the final render, the end aliasing as high, 3 by 3 by 3. And then all the way down, then I include the range. Of then export. So once you export, then it's going to go through and render now. If you don't want to lose the progress that you're working with, or maybe there's a power cut, then it's advisable that you just render a sequence of images and make sure you indicate it's a sequence set the frame rate so you can go all the way to 60 frames per second and then set the dimensions over here and then you can also do a quick preview that will run real quick so whatever you see back here that's what it's gonna render and if you want to do like a higher resolution version then do final render okay and uh that's pretty much it and so what you're seeing right now i used uh these are the settings that i used i used uh the Ultra HD 100 quality uh, used video as well. Over here. So, you know, thank you again for joining me today. Uh, it's an awesome day for us as uh, users of iPhone 8 and CC4. 
well, I'm, I'm coming from CC3 to CC4, and I think it's a really, really cool upgrade that they've done. So many other features. So as I go along, I'll continue to share different uh, features that they've added, just so we can, you can actually learn how to use it and put your own short films or demonstrate your own products. And so because now this is working as a 3D exchange, a replacement for 3D exchange, you can import anything in here and then do a turntable. <laughs> that. So it's not just for characters. Whatever is right here in the center, you'll be able to create a turntable around. Because this is now 3D Exchange incorporated inside of our character creator. Okay. So if you're new to my channel, guys, I again I ask kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a video. As always, dare to dream big, never give up on your dream. And I will always, always keep praying for you guys. Please stay safe. Much love. Bye.